there is also a condition which we come across very frequently, which is called a spinal canal stenosis. Now, this is a condition where the space for the nerves within the spine gets compromised and they start pressing on the nerves, therefore interfering with the function of the nerves. Commonly, this is associated because of changes of aging, where there is a degenerative disc which is bulging, there is overgrowth of bone which we call as osteophytes, there is thickening of the ligament of what is called as the ligament of flavum thickening, and there is overgrowth of the facet joints which would contribute to nerve root uh, compromise. Now, these conditions also could come in earlier if there is associated change in architecture of the spine thanks to injuries, thanks to infections, and sometimes because of what we call a spondylolisthesis, where the vertebra shift one on the other. Invariably, there is radiating pain down the legs, there is a feeling of heaviness in the legs, the distance one can walk or the time one can stand gets gradually reduced. More often than not, it's well addressed by exercises. And in the event it is not addressed by exercises, one could look at changes in lifestyle, the way one walks, resort to swimming and cycling so that one is not uh, walking that long distance, yet exercising all the same. In some instances, however, one would have to decompress, remove the pressure from the spine. And in the event that this decompression leads to instability within the spine, one would have to stabilize it by using screws and rods. This is the last step one could take in what we call a spinal canal stenosis. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.